Sunlight benefits human bones primarily by enabling the body to produce vitamin D, which is essential for absorbing calcium. Without adequate vitamin D, calcium cannot be effectively absorbed from food, which can lead to weakened bones and conditions like osteoporosis. How sunlight makes bones strong when your skin is exposed to ultraviolet B, UVB, radiation from the sun. It converts a cholesterol derivative in your skin into vitamin D3, the active form of the vitamin. Here is how vitamin D supports bone health, aids calcium absorption. Vitamin D regulates the amount of calcium and phosphate in the body. It allows the intestines to absorb calcium from food and helps the kidneys retain it. Dot enhances bone mineralization. By managing calcium levels, vitamin D ensures the proper mineralization and renewal of bone tissue. Prevents bone diseases. Maintaining sufficient vitamin D levels can prevent rickets in children, osteomalacia, bone pain, in adults, and osteoporosis, brittle bones, in older adults. Supports muscle strength. Vitamin D also helps maintain muscle strength, which reduces the risk of falls and fractures. Safe sun exposure for bone health to get the benefits of sunlight while minimizing the risk of skin cancer. Experts recommend a balanced approach. Time of day. The ideal time for sun exposure to produce vitamin D is typically between 10 a.m. and 10 p.m., when UVB rays are most intense. Duration. Recommendations vary based on skin tone, but generally, Thus, these minutes of sun exposure to the face, arms, and legs a few times per week is enough for most people. Skin tone matters. Individuals with darker skin have more melanin, which acts as a natural sunblock and reduces vitamin D production. They may need longer sun exposure to produce the same amount of vitamin D as someone with lighter skin. Sunscreen and coverage. Using sunscreen or wearing clothes that cover most of your skin can inhibit vitamin D production. For extended periods in the sun, apply sunscreen after getting a short, initial period of unprotected exposure. Seasonal and geographic factors. In higher latitudes and during winter, the sun's angle is lower, making it difficult for the body to produce vitamin D. During these times, diet and supplements become more important. Limitations of relying on sunlight. Alone sunlight is not a reliable source of vitamin D for everyone. Many factors can affect production, including age. The ability of the skin to produce vitamin D decreases with age. Lifestyle. Many people spend the majority of their time indoors. Health conditions. Conditions that limit fat absorption, obesity, and gastric bypass surgery can all affect vitamin D absorption and synthesis. It is important to remember that prolonged sun exposure without protection increases the risk of skin cancer. For those with limited sun exposure or risk factors for vitamin D deficiency, dietary sources like oily fish, eggs, and fortified foods, as well as supplements, are critical for maintaining healthy bones. Based on the search results, here is an explanation of the relationship between sunlight, human health, sitting, sleeping, and feet. Sunlight and human health Sunlight is essential for human health, offering several benefits. It aids in vitamin D production, which is crucial for bone health and the immune system. Sunlight exposure can improve mood and help regulate blood pressure. It also supports the immune system by stimulating white blood cell production. Sunlight and sleep Sunlight plays a vital role in regulating the body's circadian rhythm, which controls sleep-wake cycles. Morning sunlight exposure helps regulate melatonin production, making it easier to fall asleep at night and improving sleep quality. Sitting versus movement in the sun Both sitting and moving in the sun provide benefits. Simply sitting outdoors, especially in the morning, can help regulate the internal clock and boost mood, while also allowing for vitamin D production on exposed skin. Moving or exercising outdoors adds the benefits of increased physical activity. The role of feet exposing feet to sunlight contributes to vitamin D production, but it's not as effective as exposing larger areas like the face, hands, and arms due to the smaller surface area. However, exposing feet is still better than no sun exposure at all for vitamin D considerations to maximize the benefits of sunlight while minimizing risks. Aim for sun exposure during less intense times, like the morning or late afternoon. Short durations of thus these minutes a few times a week on exposed skin are often sufficient for vitamin D. Use sun protection like sunscreen and clothing, especially during peak hours 
to prevent sunburn and reduce skin cancer risk. For some people, a dislike of sunlight is simply a preference for a more subdued environment, but for others, it can be caused by medical condition like photosensitivity or photophobia. If you experience physical discomfort from sunlight, it is recommended to see a doctor to determine the underlying cause. Here are ways to reduce your discomfort while still getting enough light for good health. Be mindful of mental health acknowledge your feelings. Recognizing that your dislike of sunlight is a valid feeling is an important first step. If your aversion to sunlight leads to isolation, it can affect your mental health, especially if you have seasonal affective disorder. Get help for severe cases. For intense fear of the sun, heliophobia, treatments such as talk therapy, exposure therapy, and cognitive behavioral therapy can help you manage your fear. Avoid excessive light avoidance. If you wear dark glasses or avoid light altogether, it may cause your eyes to become more sensitive over time. Try to find a balance by managing your exposure rather than completely avoiding it. A busy, indoor lifestyle contributes to bone loss primarily through two factors, lack of sunlight, which causes vitamin D deficiency, and a sedentary routine, which reduces the bone-strengthening effects of physical activity. Ache vitamin D deficiency sunlight is the main source of vitamin D. When your skin is exposed to sunlight, it produces vitamin D. People who spend most of their time indoors in offices and homes are not getting enough direct sunlight exposure. Vitamin D is crucial for calcium absorption. Without enough vitamin D, the body cannot absorb calcium effectively from the food you eat. The body takes calcium from bones. When calcium levels in the blood drop due to poor absorption, the body is forced to pull calcium from the bones to restore balance. This causes a loss of bone density over time. Bone loss symptoms can be subtle. In adults, low vitamin D and bone loss, osteopenia or osteoporosis, often have subtle symptoms like fatigue, general bone and joint pain, and muscle weakness. Though sedentary lifestyle bones need stress to stay strong. Bones are living tissue that adapt to the forces placed upon them. Weight-bearing exercises, activities where your body works against gravity, are essential for building and maintaining bone density. Prolonged sitting weakens bones. For people with desk jobs or home-based work, long periods of sitting or lying down reduce this weight-bearing activity. This signals the body to slow down bone formation and increase bone breakdown. Inactivity accelerates age-related bone loss. As people get older, bone mass naturally decreases. A sedentary lifestyle accelerates this process, increasing the risk of osteoporosis and fractures. What can be done to counteract bone loss? Get regular, safe sun exposure. Aim for thus these minutes of direct sunlight on your skin each day, if possible, especially during midday. After sufficient time, use sunscreen or protective clothing to prevent skin damage. Incorporate weight-bearing exercise. Simple activities can help counteract the effects of sitting. Try to stand up and walk around for a few minutes every hour. Other beneficial activities include Brisk walking, jogging, dancing, climbing, stairs, strength training ensure adequate vitamin D and calcium intake. Diet Eat foods rich in calcium, such as dairy products, leafy greens, and fortified foods. Include vitamin D-rich foods like fatty fish, salmon, tuna, egg yolks, and fortified milk or cereals. Supplements If diet and sun exposure are insufficient, a doctor may recommend daily vitamin D and or calcium supplements. Consider potential health risks. Talk to a healthcare provider, especially if you have pre-existing conditions or are at higher risk of osteoporosis. To combine gym and yoga with sunlight, start with morning sunlight exposure before a workout, followed by gym session and then yoga session afterward, or separate them by few hours. This sequence can be optimized by doing a short, gentle yoga session after a gym workout to get...